This 52-year-old female patient suffers from therapy-resistant right-sided pain that radiates into the C7 dermatome. Endoscopic decompression of the right C7 nerve root is planned. Segment C67 has good bone ingrowth, although relative neuroforaminal stenosis caused by cage subsistence is visible. The CT images show the condition following ventral discectomy and cage fusion. For dorsal decompression in the cervical area, the patient is placed in a prone position with the skull secured in a clamp. Accurate identification of the affected segment on lateral fluoroscopy is always a priority. The midline is marked and the ideal point for endoscopic approach to the cervical spine directly paramedially to the spinous process is identified. Depending on the size of the trocar, a skin incision between 0.8 and 1.8 centimeters is required. The neck muscles are retracted through sequential insertion of various dilators. If the green trocar is used, then dilation is performed with the corresponding green dilation sleeves. To ensure an ideal surgical approach, it is important that the bony contact to the dilation sleeve and the lamina can be viewed during dilation. After inserting the target sleeve, the length of the trocar to be used can be read on the centimeter scale. In this case, the green 19 mm trocar with a working length of 4 cm is used. Additional dilation or a changeover to another trocar is possible at any time. After the trocar is fixated to the holding arm, the dilation sleeves are removed from the trocar. The entry site is controlled via lateral x-ray and the selected telescope holder is placed on the trocar. Telescopes are available in three different lengths and here a short telescope is required. The telescope is connected with the appropriate light cable and camera head. And, after white balance is carried out, the telescope is inserted into the holder and locked into position with a fixation screw. Similar to the lumbar approach, the cervical approach usually starts by removing the soft tissue remaining on the lamina. Minor bleeding can be controlled with bipolar diathermy. Localization of the facet joint is critical for decompression of the nerve branch in the neural foramen. To expose the facet joint, the medial part of the joint is resected with a diamond burr and with a kerosene punch. The palpation probe is used to incise the ligamentum flavum and the lateral dural wall is identified. This is followed by lateral resection of the ligamentum flavum until the exit of the nerve root can be identified.
The nerve root is then gradually decompressed laterally using the diamond drill and the kerosene punch. Towards the end of the decompression, the correct height should be verified with a lateral x-ray. Hemostasis and wound closure can be performed this time using a fibrin sponge. The wound is closed with a fascial suture followed by the placement of a subcutaneous and skin suture. Decompression surgery was performed via a skin incision with a length of 2 centimeters.